Morning. Morning. It's Wednesday the 7th of June. We got along, John. <laughs> we got to see the seagull on fine form. Uh, we've got That's the acid it. ball. Acid. We've also got a message from Omer. Oh, Show but sweet. Show but sweet. Today, Johnny, I'm going for a seamless read. Uh, ah, ah, that's impossible. <laughs> well, uh, it's just well, <laughs> we're going to talk about Prince Harry, John. Oh, Put me, Prince Harry. I didn't know we'd got one. Uh, look at that, look like to have a McDonald. I thought he'd renowned all his uh, prince ships and that. Well, that's, I don't know if he calls his same prince. Media Duke call him Sussex, prince. Duke of Sussex, Anyway, uh, uh, quick shout out, John. I'm going to rectify a wrong of yesterday. Uh, we get a shout out to Fraser Richardson. There's no such bloke. Actually, I meant to Fraser Clarkson. And, and his dad, Grant, who will live at Stocksbridge, Miriam Coates, Country, Tory, Country. Uh, get rid of her this uh, next election, Fraser and Grant, please. But getting back to Prince Harry, John, he's challenging the media. I, it's not, it's Joker Sussex, isn't it? Well, I've put Prince Harry. Oh, it's, it's easier for me to say, but get him, to do with it, he says. get him back to him, listen. Ah. He's, he's suing the media. <laughs> uh, the billionaire media is trying yeah, to sue them. Dear. One thing he did say, though, and he speaks for me when he says this. Our country is judged globally by the state of our press and our government, both of which are at rock bottom. Yes, exactly. Here, here, Abby. Yeah, democracy fails when your press fails to scrutinise and hold the government to account yeah. to account, and instead choose to get in bed with them so they can ensure the status quo. Yeah. And he also went to say, I may not have a role within the institution, but as a member of the royal family and as a soldier upholding important values, I feel there's a responsibility to expose the criminal activity in the name of public interest. This criminal activity, it should have said. I don't, public interest, it, it, it don't interest me one bit, but hey. Uh, and he went on to say, the country and the British public deserve to know the depth of what was actually happening then and the need now. Seagulls hit me foot, John. <laughs> and I, I ain't, don't know, it's just it's fell off. Something. It must have come, come up, it must have fingered. You were going so well and all. Oh, it's brought it's come through again, look. Fire. <laughs> I think it's come through again, look, yeah. Anyway, I'll repeat that bit again. These things happen when you're doing live, as you can see. Uh, the country and the British public deserve to know the depths of what was actually happening then and indeed now. We will all be better off for it. Well said, Harry. Kill the Harry haters now. They're all like, oh, I hate him. I, I can't stand him. I don't hate anybody. I'll tell you something. I never said the John. Oh. I said the Harry haters. Tell you something. Prince Harry speaks for me. Wakey, wakey! Put the gun away, Johnny!